Symptoms of a bad speed. Sensor, a faulty and failing transmission. Speed sensor, causes and fixes. A vehicle speed sensor, VSS, also referred to as a transmission speed sensor or wheel speed sensor, is a compact unit situated on the transmission. This sensor plays a crucial role in gauging your vehicle's speed by tracking the rotation of a sprocket on an axle within the transmission. However, if the speed sensor malfunctions, it can disrupt the accuracy of the speedometer and compromise your driving safety. Therefore, it's important to be aware of the symptoms of a faulty vehicle speed sensor. A speed sensor malfunction can present lots of signs of issues, which can range from erratic speedometer readings to compromised acceleration. In an era where precision and reliability are non-negotiable, understanding the intricacies of a vehicle's speed sensor becomes paramount. So first, let's look at the common causes of a bad speed sensor. One, internal failure. Over time, the internal components of the speed sensor can wear out or malfunction due to heat, vibration, or simply reaching their lifespan. Fix. Replacing the speed sensor is the most common solution. While some attempt to repair them, it's generally not recommended due to the sensitive nature of the electronics. 2. Wiring issues. Damaged or corroded wiring between the sensor and the car's computer can disrupt the signal transmission. Fix. A mechanic can inspect the wiring harness for damage or corrosion. Cleaning or replacing the affected wires might be necessary. In severe cases, the entire wiring harness might need replacement. 3. Debris. Buildup. Dirt, grime, or metal shavings can accumulate around the sensor, interfering with its ability to read the wheel speed accurately. Fix. Carefully clean the sensor with a compressed air hose or non-abrasive cleaning solution. Avoid using any harsh chemicals that could damage the sensor. 4. Faulty ABS ring. Some speed sensors rely on a toothed ring on the wheel hub, ABS ring, to generate a signal. Damage or excessive wear on this ring can disrupt the sensor's reading. Fix. Depending on the severity of the damage, the ABS ring might need cleaning, repair, or replacement. A mechanic can diagnose the issue and recommend the appropriate course of action. 5. Loose connection. In rare cases, a loose connection between the sensor and the wiring harness might be the culprit. Fix. A mechanic can check the connection and ensure it's secure. Important note. The specific troubleshooting steps for a bad speed sensor will depend on your vehicle's make and model. Consulting a repair manual or seeking help from a qualified mechanic is recommended for accurate diagnosis and repair. Here are some additional tips. Warning signs. Symptoms of a bad speed sensor can include an erratic speedometer, malfunctioning cruise control, ABS warning light activation, and issues with transmission shifting. So here are eight signs and symptoms of a failing speed sensor. One, erratic speedometer readings. The hallmark of a compromised speed sensor is a speedometer that seems to have a mind of its own, with readings fluctuating wildly or failing to reflect the actual speed of the vehicle. This symptom is often the first clue that prompts a deeper investigation into the health of the speed sensor. Two, hesitation. When accelerating, a vehicle that stutters or hesitates upon acceleration may be suffering from a speed sensor issue. While this symptom can also be indicative of other maladies, its presence warrants a thorough examination of the speed sensor's integrity. 3. Difficulty overtaking. A faulty speed sensor can impair the ECU's ability to regulate fuel injection, leading to a noticeable loss of power. This deficiency becomes starkly apparent when attempting to overtake, where the vehicle fails to deliver the necessary burst of speed. 4. Illuminated check engine light. An activated check engine light serves as a general distress signal that could encompass issues with the speed sensor among a myriad of other potential problems. A diagnostic test by a skilled mechanic can pinpoint whether the root cause is indeed a faulty speed sensor. 5. Deceleration at idle. Observing a vehicle's performance dwindle to a crawl while idling suggests a deeper dive into the health of the speed sensor, among other critical components, is in order. 6. Malfunctioning Cruise Control 
Cruise control relies on the speed sensor data to maintain a constant vehicle speed. Inaccurate speed readings from a faulty sensor confuse the cruise control system. This can lead to the cruise control being unable to engage, maintain a set speed, or abruptly disengage due to incorrect speed information. 7. ABS Warning Light Activation The Anti-Lock Braking System ABS, utilizes wheel speed data from the sensors to prevent wheel lockup during hard braking. So, if the ABS module receives erratic or incorrect speed signals from a faulty sensor, it might interpret this as a wheel lockup situation and activate the ABS warning light. This doesn't necessarily mean there's a problem with the ABS system itself, but rather a faulty sensor feeding it bad data. 8. Issues with Transmission Shifting Modern automatic transmissions rely on wheel speed data from the sensors to determine optimal shift timing. Inaccurate speed information from a faulty speed sensor can confuse the transmission control module. This can lead to delayed or harsh gear changes, erratic shifting patterns, or the transmission struggling to find the right gear. In some cases, the car might go into limp mode to protect itself from potential damage caused by improper gear selection. When confronted with the symptoms of a failing speed sensor, the path to resolution begins with elementary steps aimed at diagnosing and remedying the cause of the issue. And to do that, begin by inspecting wiring around the speed sensor. Faulty wiring stands as a common reason and cause for speed sensor malfunction. A meticulous examination of the sensor's connections, ensuring they are secure and intact, is a critical first step. Next, consider cleaning the sensor since accumulated dirt and debris can impair a sensor's functionality. A gentle cleaning, using a brush or compressed air, can sometimes rejuvenate a struggling sensor. And lastly, you may have considered replacement of the sensor if the above-mentioned steps and measures did not resolve the issue. Then replacing the speed sensor may be the next course of action. You need to have the basic tools and skills. So there you have it, guys. I hope you find this video to be helpful. If you do, please like, share, and leave a comment in the comment section below if you have anything to share. Also, subscribe to the channel to support the channel. I'll see you in our next video. Bye.